In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up 404 pages in ExpressJS applications. So in previous tutorials, we've set up a few routes for our sample Express application, but what happens if you go to a route that does not exist? We get a 404 page, but it's not a very attractive page, and a lot of the time you'll want to customise this if someone tries to browse to a page on your site that doesn't exist. So let's go back to our code and see how we would set up a 404 route. So the key to handling 404 errors is to create a route that is included within your project after all other routes have been loaded. So we could do this in a separate routing module, but because it's kind of a catch-all, you'll see by default that the Express Generator creates these lines of code for you once you've loaded in all of your own custom routes. So to actually customise how the 404 looks, we're going to remove this line and replace it with two things. First we're going to send a status code to the response object, which of course is 404, and then we'll send some data back to the browser. So if you try and load a non-existent page again, you'll see instead of the stack trace and the error generated by Express, the text that we sent back from the root is displayed to the user. And if we actually inspect this page using the Chrome developer tools, you'll see that browsing to the root has actually responded with a status code of 404. Of course, we could respond with any type of content to the browser. For example, we could render a view. So here I've just told Express to render a template called 404. So let's just go ahead and create that. And I'll just load in our header and footer into this template as we did in the previous lesson. So I've just included a heading level one tag with page not found as the text. And let's add a little bit of styling using the error class that I've added to the heading level one tag. So now if we go and reload our missing page again, we get in rather bold letters the page not found message with that colour style that we applied in our CSS file. So it's important to handle 404s for lots of different reasons mainly including providing a good user experience, but also things like SEO and keeping track of users going to pages that don't exist anymore. But all you really need to remember is when you're setting up that final catch-all route, just to make sure that it's included after you've set up all of your own custom routes.